Hands up to the massive guys, we are back again for the very second reaction video, guys. Definitely check out the previous one in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. And with that said, guys, big up the Mr. Lexido family for definitely tuning in to another reaction video on this same Mr. Lex reaction, guys. And of course, the newcomers on there, welcome all yourself as well. The new people, man, I appreciate each and every one of you guys who tend to join in. Hundreds of you guys tend to watch my videos every day. So I just want to say I appreciate you guys for definitely tuning in to another Vibrations in this year and this year, regard. If you have not done so, guys, Definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification, guys. Subs subs <laughs> subscribe, C click the bell, <coughs> and then click all, brothers and sisters, so you can get all the videos as they tend to come from. I don't know why it does do this. I, I guess it's kind of a funny thing right there. <laughs> guys, definitely subscribe. Of course, this is where I get my views on a number of things, pretty much pertaining to that and the Caribbean people. Dominic, of course, is included in that vibrations right there. So definitely do this, guys. I would appreciate that 150 billion percent. But there's something interesting taking place in the nature of the Caribbean, Dominic, of course, involving gas shortages. 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 Okay. But this is, let's take a listen to what Vince, who is apparently the Minister for Foreign Affairs, International Business and Trade and Energy. Let's take a listen to what he has to say right there. Going on with uh, petroleum, it seems that there seems to be some sort of issue going on with uh, petroleum products. Dominicans uh, have been going to the uh, gas stations. <laughs> um, what's the update as it relates to the availability <laughs> of petroleum? Products? No, guys, I want you guys to listen to this very carefully. Notice what he says, okay? You know, your boy will point it out for all you know why he's already. <laughs> uh, how I be already? <laughs> how I stay already? All right. Well, well, Gavin, the last time we spoke, there was indeed low levels of gasoline on island. Notice that? Notice. All right. Low levels of gas on island. Indeed, low levels. He didn't say there was no gas, you know, gas finish. <laughs> but indeed, low levels of gas. But I, I'm not sure exactly what happened yesterday up to last night. However, when I got a report... He's not sure what happened as a result of last night. That was about like two, two days ago when he made this report. Yeah. Some gas stations may, in fact, have low levels of... It's not some gas stations. A lot of the gas stations on island are, ha do definitely have a low level of gas on island. That is the same thing he's saying. You remember last time had low levels of gas? He didn't say no gas, you know. Low levels of gas. No, he's saying the same thing. He says some gas stations have low level of gas. Interesting stuff. Gasoline at their facilities. At their facilities, all right. However, I will hasten to say... Mm -hmm. that there is no gas shortage on the island so to me last time i had gas shortage and you did not say it had gas shortage you say there were low levels of gas but you say now that there is no shortage of gas so what exactly is it if you're saying pretty much the same thing that you said last time and there was low levels of gas which was a gas shortage gas was not on island people have to be waiting because gas stations no opening a lot of people packing their vehicles and stuff waiting for gas to come and then some people getting ticketed as a result of their vehicles shorting from gas or not having any gas at all so that, that was back then and you say low levels now you're saying to they have some gas stations have low level i will explain this to you guys in a moment i was what he actually means by that i was i was advised by the manager of our petro caribe facility that petro caribe facility that is where you heard people talking about the terrible gas and then they have to use um um gas treatment Remember, you, you guys know about this? Okay, that is what he's talking about right there. Not the proper gas, you know. Where you don't have to buy gas treatment for gas. He's talking about that very same thing. The fuel that they have is the fuel that needs gas treatment. In fact, we have adequate supply of gasoline. That is what he's talking about. But in really and truly, the gas supply in Dominica has dwindled. I think it's on Tuesday the next shipment is going to be coming in. The real gas shipment is going to be coming in in storage so for those of you who don't understand this is the kind of gas that can rupture and mash up your vehicle and then people have to use gas gas uh, treatment to the point where gas treatment buying gas treatment is low because people realize that it's dangerous to their vehicle and they need to also buy gas treatment with gas they're not telling you these things you know they're not telling you that <laughs> but mr Lix is there to help you you have to listen to me though know? Go ahead and buy the gas and let it mash up your vehicle for you. You know, for, for the next several days. <laughs> several days, I see. Then I, I think I missed a part in this one and there's another part right there. Gasoline on island that could last for at least four weeks. 
So you say there's gasoline on an island that can last at least four weeks. Now, on the basis of the actual gas, guys, the actual gas that doesn't mash up your vehicle, it is depleted. And I do not encourage people to go by the Ruby's gas station. You guys know for a fact, Ruby's actually made a statement stating that the level of gas, we are no longer on island, but we allow our shells to be on island. And as a result of that, they can, the people who are, 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 are caretakers of the shells or Ruby's gas shells in Dominica, because Ruby's has left Dominica, they are no longer bringing in their, 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 their quality of, of, of gas. So the quality of gas that these gas stations have is very low. They have been stating this in every single email that they stated since they left. They have been stating that if you pay attention, you will understand things. And a number of persons don't seem to be paying attention to what is going on. And that is very bad. We also, and, and I'm saying this because I want people to understand how this really works. We usually get a supply in 10 days and sometimes uh, more often based on the quantities ordered and based on the availability. So if we're able to achieve the, we are able to double our storage capacity for gasoline on island. It means that we will have adequate supply for all. But yes, having adequate supply is one thing, but having adequate supply of the proper gas that wouldn't mash up people so they would not need to have uh, to go and buy gas treatment. Oh, where, where, where we be then? Uh? Guys, I don't encourage people to go and buy gas by rubies. Eh? I encourage you to go buy the West Indies oil um, com, um, um, gas stations. Go there and get your oil. The oil is the, the, the fuel is much better there. I would urge individuals do not go and buy the fake, the, well, not necessarily fake, but the quality of um, fuel that they have there is very low. This is why sometimes people even complain that there's water in their fuel. Hey, it's not me that's saying, though. People are literally complaining that there's water in their fuel after they come out from the ruby stuff and they realize that their vehicle is, 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 is doing some kind of wet, wet stuff. That'll mash up your vehicle for you guys. This is why you need gas treatment. All right then. Take I line, go around and ask for gas treatment and see if we people will rea you realize the gas treatment is very low in, on, on island. And they're bringing in um, 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 low quality fuel for your vehicle. And it's messing up your vehicles. And he's coming and say there's adequate gas. And you guys, they are the ones who allowed rubies to bring, the rubies to go and bring the proper fuel that they had with them. Now you have oh, um, low quality fuel, fuel coming in at the same price. I don't understand that. The price didn't go down, you know, because the fuel um, quality is low. It went up. When all the Caribbean islands fuel was going down, all went up. And not just going up, you know, we got lower quality fuel. Ha! Ah, all right then. There's enough fuel to last for the next few days. And also that you're announcing now that we're going to have some improved uh, storage ca uh, capacity. I heard that they took over the DCP um, um, tankers or tanks, whatever that is, Dominica Coconut product. Um, we are Dominica Coconut product now. We are that now. I heard that they, they have acquired, I don't know if this is true, you guys can let me know if that is true or not. This is a reaction. But on the basis of that, guys, they st it stated that they have required it. Let me see if I get it for you guys. Okay, guys. Um, I, yes, this is it right there, brothers and sisters. I've, I've, seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen this thing right there. Unconfirmed reports reaching VNG uh, suggest that the Dominican government may have acquired storage tanks at Dominican Coconut Product Successors uh, Compound in Belfast for the storage of fuel right there, brothers and sisters. And it seems like this is the, the fuel tanks that they have stated that they've gotten. I don't know if that is the case right there, but let's continue. Yeah, well, well Gavin, let me just say finally two things. I cannot guarantee that there is enough fuel for all of us to drive around Dominica. Isn't that counter, counter, doesn't that counter what you just said? You said fuel can be on island for what? Four weeks. Then he stated that because people are driving around, you cannot guarantee that. Maybe it's me that don't get it properly. Maybe. The next few days and also that you're announcing now that we're going to have some improved uh, storage ca uh, capacity. Yeah, well, well, Gavin, let me just say finally two things. Finally, so you've said all what you've said, and now you're saying something. I cannot guarantee that there's enough fuel for all of us to drive around Dominica. <laughs> Didn't he just say that there's fuel for a few days, then he stated that there's fuel for at least four weeks, and now he's stating he cannot guarantee that there's fuel for people to drive around. Boy, 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 I tell you, boy. Uh, maybe not, maybe I do it properly. Yeah, well, well, Gavin, let me just say finally two things. I cannot guarantee that there's enough fuel for all of us to drive around Dominica. And say that we have enough that you can go along your daily 
live in, you go to work, you, you, you recreate, and we know it is the festive season, people will be moving around. So we, we have adequate supply, so we, we all, but we want. So how you saying you have adequate supply? But I, let me leave that alone, eh, guys. Let me leave that alone. Eh? But there's something rather interesting that I saw. Some people were sending this to me as well, guys, in Grenada. And of course, people were saying if this was Dominica, that would not be the same outcome at all. Now, there's some individual right there who, who sent a message to the Grenada Citizenship by Investment, December 13th, um, 2022. That's some time back, you know. And this is the individual of, of some hotel, um, chief ex CEO of, of Harlem, Harlem, or is Hartman Hotel Development Ltd. And of course, he made, uh, I think he made some, some sort of a, a gift right there and stated there, sir. Well, well, this is, this is what, this was to him, but he, this is what, um, the response to this individual was. Dear sir, the Grenadian Citizenship by Investment Unit is in receipt of your gift, which delivered to our chairman, Mr. Richard Person, right there on Wednesday, 7 December 2022. So they received it on 7th, and of course, they're writing this message to this individual on the 13th of December. Please be advised that said gift was due, duly open in the presence of Colin Purcell, Colin, Colin, whoever that person is, uh, the CEO um, AG, okay, and then Kishona Akong's individual and can Kendisha um, person right there executive assistant okay so the gift was open uh, in the presence of these three individuals right there following contents have been recorded from the gift stating cash of ten thousand EC dollars item in a box I don't know what the item is of course but then there's also a bottle of drink of course the value of the above mentioned items is incongruent with the Grenadian uh, Grenada Citizenship by Investment Code of Business Conduct and Ethics Policy. Therefore, these items cannot be accepted. Additionally, as stewards of the public trust, we are sensitive to ensure adherence to the integrity of the public life uh, regulations, as well as the prevention of corruption regulations as it relates, as it relates to gifting. Kindly have a member of your team collect same as the ex, uh, um, EO, um, EOC, anyways, um, Executive Offices and Grenadier Citizenship by Investment Unit, Burns Point. That is the place where the person is supposed to come and pick it up by 4 p.m. following receipt of this communication. We thank you for your understanding and compliance, compliance with respect to this manner right there. And of course, the signatures and what have you. So Grenada has rejected the gifts being given into individuals on the basis of obtaining, I'm guessing, the, the citizenship citizenship by investment program right there brothers and sisters you see but people were saying if this was in dominica and of course i would have to agree that as well because according to al jazeera they made the report of scary them doing all kind of transactions with ali reza monforin with uh, alison maduke and his people who have brought them gifts of sorts and they took it did they reject it no that's not what al jazeera said they took it there was even one where they stated that he stayed at, at some uh, some high-rise hotel in New York with his wife. Eh, interesting stuff, indeed. So people were saying if this was Dominica, they would have taken it. But as of as a result of Grenada, Grenada is not in no corruption by a bad guy. They're not in no corruption business. So they, they, they wrote this letter to his individual and sent it back to them right there and tell him, take your gift. This is not in accordance to our proper business code of conduct. All right, all right then. Anyways, guys, um, in concern, in concerning to what is taking place in Dominica as a result of the two uh, women, uh, I mentioned that um in the previous reaction that um um Thompson, Doctor Thompson Fountain, uh, the leader of the UWP, had some um words to say in this regard, right there. And this is him. Hi, my name is Thompson Fountain, political leader of the United Workers Party, and following is a statement in which. The United Workers Party condemns the recent brutal murders and calls for increased protection for victims of domestic violence in Dominica. Mm. The Dominican public is saddened by the recent senseless and brutal murders of two Dominican women, yep. allegedly at the hands of the abusive partners. Mm. Dr. Velma Valma of the Carnago Territory and Avanel Charles of Mont Prosper mm. both suffered violent deaths from those who would normally be expected to protect them. Mm. 
I tell you, boy, when you notice, boy, I tell you. Let me, on behalf of the Indian Workers Party, extend heartfelt and sincere condolences to the families of those impacted by these tragic events while strongly condemning these acts of violence. Yep. Their deaths come at a time when families are normally celebrating love and togetherness during the Christmas holidays and looking forward with considerable expectations to the new year. To the new year. This incident therefore makes an already tragic and senseless situation even more unbearable to the families. Could have been avoided. Then people didn't want to be fused. But I'll say, okay, sorry. I remember something one of my elders told me. If the woman wants to leave you and say she's going, let her go. Let her go. But make sure you open the door for her so she can leave. If she doesn't want to leave, she will close the door herself. So at least it wouldn't be forced if she stays. This is very important right there but these guys felt hey if you don't want to be with me you nobody else can be with you the death and it's interesting that this doctor was loving a security guard a security officer dude she she, she loving you or you and, and checking you probably for me the royal don't care doesn't want to be a, you know so she decided to, to, to <laughs> so dr valmore and miss charles along with the deaths of those who have suffered a similar fate in the past should not be allowed to go in vain nope Justice should prevail, but then again, the system is rigged. I remember the situation of the individual from Kari FM, the radio host, who was seen when there's receipts of him talking to talking to an underage person, and he's still back on the radio. I don't know if he's still there now, but from the basis of this, there was a whole walk because he was back on the radio, back to influence the public again. Interesting. In addition to bringing those responsible to justice, now is an opportune time to focus our attention on the increasing incidence of domestic violence and abuse, particularly directed against women and girls, that continues to plague our island nation and send a strong message to the perpetrators that any act of violence is unacceptable. True. But the one thing I always noticed, and I stated this in the previous reaction, they always telling men not to be violent to women. But are they telling women not to instigate? Now, based on this situation, I don't think there was an instigation in this regard. These women wanted to leave and the guy felt like, hey, if you leave, then you cannot be with nobody else. And as a result, they took their life. They took them They, they took them out. But on the basis of other, other, other incidences where there's this kind of situations happening, I, I, who is instigating these kind of things? Are they, they teach men not to be violent, but are they teaching women not to come at men in a, in a certain way that will force them to do certain things? I mean, come on. I mean, it's not just one set, you know, it's both sets. Indeed, these latest incidents are part of an ongoing and alarming pattern of abuse and domestic violence against women and girls. There's also abuse against men as well. I've seen women beating, I said I could never be, but anyways, that is another story. An important question to consider is whether those facing such violent abuse have recourse to government or other support programs. Hmm. For example, Good is point. there a hot Good point. hotline that they can call confidentially to report abuse hmm. or to seek counseling? What about targeted campaigns aimed at those who would commit such acts of violence? But then again, Thompson, you're talking about the, the, the right thing that society needs to do. Set up these kind of programs or set up these institutions where people who have been abused can definitely go to them. But what about if it's happening from the very head? Where the head is covering a number of things. I remember when Lennox Linton them was saying that ministers are using people for favors in exchange for favors. That is another form of abuse too, you know. But on the basis of if it's happening at the head, how then do you solve the problem? I guess you have to remove the head, no? I know that our current government have allowed institutions like the Bureau of Gender Affairs, the Women's Bureau, and even the Welfare Division, which played key roles in providing support to women in the past to continue operations without the necessary resources that they require. Hmm. While our government is quick to dispense millions and flying in entertainers ah. from around the globe, it seems unwilling or unable to invest in the welfare of its people. Things the government should be doing, investing in the people, no, instead they bring in all kind of people to take our money to come and entertain us. <laughs> but then again, that's what the people like. Things happening to people and people not complaining, that's what they like. Victims of domestic violence should have recourse to professional help and should not feel like they must shoulder the burden on their own. And I've heard that this is not the first time this has happened, especially for the one in Mount Prosper. I heard it happened before and it has happened again. 
the United Workers Party therefore appealed to the government to invest in various programs, including a hotline, provision of a safe haven, and other support mechanisms to the large number of women and girls who on an almost daily basis continue to be victims of abuse and domestic violence. Needed. These victims should also be able to have swift recourse to a legal system oh. that will provide them with the necessary protections. It takes a long time. <laughs> Too many of these cases continue to languish before the courts, some for years on end. Especially those that are against the ministers. In that regard, the United Workers Party calls upon the authorities to tighten enforcement of existing legislation against perpetrators of such violence and deal expeditiously with the pending cases. Also, we call on the government to review and strengthen existing laws to offer added protection from violence to women and girls, mm -hmm. as well as tight, stiffen penalties for perpetrators. Mm -hmm. We also call on the government to ensure that measures are put in place to safeguard the dignity and integrity of our women and girls. And men do. Now, to the men of Dominica, I appeal to you. Please respect our women and girls. Amen. Violence of any kind against anyone in any relationship should never be an option. True. Find ways to speak for your differences and undertake to seek a non-violent options to resolve them. Mm -hmm. But please show respect for the seemingly more vulnerable amongst us and let us serve to protect them. Let us as Dominicans continue to work together to end the cycle of domestic violence in our beautiful country. I thank you. A bad gentleman, I thank you. Anyways, guys, I do appreciate everything that Dr. 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 Thompson Fountain said right there. Unfortunately, my camera died, so it's just the computer picking up my voice right there. But on the basis of this, guys, I do agree with him, but I also want to urge that they also teach women not to instigate things because I've seen women instigating a number of things out there. And when that the fella does retaliate against them, it is the fella's fault. Teach men not to be violent, but teach women to stop instigating violence on them. That is an interesting scope right there. Anyways, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you understand it. Definitely check out a previous reaction video in this year regard. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through. It is about Mr. Lix on the Mr. Lix vlogs, guys. No, sorry, Mr. Lix reacts. <laughs> I will also try my best to be doing a, a vlog as well. I'm charging up all the, the, the devices and stuff so I can definitely put that out there for you guys. So definitely guys, tune in to Mr. Lix Vlogs to get the New Year's vibrations. I might interview some people for BRBP TV along that line. We'll see how that goes as, as you know, it's all the spirit lead, man. <laughs> all the spirit lead, brothers and sisters. And with all that said right there, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bam.